I'm just gonna hit start recording and then walk away. That's gonna be the episode today. Here we go. Anyone ever notice that the gears in the back kind of look like boobs? <laughs> I can't say that. What? What is this? What do you mean? I'm trying to record it to the tire. Oh, wait, never mind. It worked. Never mind. We're good. We're good. Never mind. Clarabelle, 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 It's been more than a week. There it is. Shut up. I feel like Clarabelle's just lost her game. She's getting slower and slower. Also, the game is dying right now. What is going on? Oh my goodness. It's probably why Clarabelle took forever is the game is just right now. You know, one of these days I'll actually have to focus on getting Toonie something nice because he's <laughs> he's never had more than like 300 beans in his life, dude. Yeah. I think the only reason why he even has anything is because I would do like a live stream and during that live stream people would come by and like give him like bean unites and be like, Toonie, please buy something for yourself. But how's it going, Toonie's the world? This is your pal Mega Snoop bringing you Toonie the Tiger episode. I forget to do my intro sometimes. Don't worry about it. It's fine. And Toonie still needs a bunch of sellbot stuff, so... I'm gonna try to get into the full district, but man, it is... It is full, dude. But today is Mother's Day, and instead of spending time with my mom, I'm playing Toontown. Exactly how I've spent the last five Mother's Days. But my mom generally doesn't care, especially since she's literally in a different state. See, she's in the state of Oregon, and I'm in the state of depression all the time but because of how far she is obviously we can't do anything together same with father's day same with literally anyone's birthday but i remember back when i did live in oregon around my parents when i was able to see them regularly uh we'd always just go to the movies it didn't really matter what was playing we would just go to go see a movie i still remember one of like the movies i took my mom to see you guys i don't know if anyone's gonna recognize this at all but it was called 30 minutes or less it had a z's i'm sorry and some other inappropriate guy. I'm gonna try and invite this guy. We'll see if we can actually get a group in the non-full district. Okay, there, we got a group. We're good, let's do it. So anyway, the name of this movie was 30 Minutes or Less. I would have to look up who else was in it. I just saw it because it looked funny and had Aziz Ansari in it. And Aziz Ansari is literally one of my favorite comedians of all time. I've seen all the stand-ups, any movie he's in. Parks and Recreation is one of my favorite shows, hands down. He's a great actor, hilarious dude. And I took my mom to see this movie, which was a big mistake. Like, <laughs> my mom went to church every single Sunday for the past, like, 20 years. And then I take her to see this movie where they're like, F-bomb this, F-bomb that, F-bomb, F-bomb, F-bomb. Let's talk about jerking into a kiddie pool. I don't know. They're... It's one of those movies. And to top it all off, they had a scene in a strip club where there was just topless women everywhere. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not going to say I didn't enjoy it, but with my mom right there, it was kind of awkward. So long story short is research a movie before you take your mom to it. Otherwise you end up taking your mom to see a titty flick and that's not what you want. God, I'm so glad I'm not a Toontown partner so I can say titty flick. That's amazing. <laughs> but since it is Mother's Day, I at least sent her a, uh, a text message being like, Happy Mother's Day, thinking of your mom. Because my mom's one of my best friends. It's weird to say, but like, you know, my mom and I would always hang out and go to movies and stuff like that. Or... If I just wanted to go somewhere, not think about life for a bit, she'd drive me around. It was nice. Now that I'm out of state, I have a random Uber driver, probably. Order an Uber and Salim pulls up. He's like, hello, where can I take you? And I'm like, anywhere but here. And he's like, I need an actual destination, sir. I'm paid by the mile. Yeah, I miss my mom and my dad. I miss my family. But on the bright side, they are going to come visit. At least my mom and dad are. They're going to come visit for their wedding anniversary here in a couple weeks. So I was thinking of maybe making my dad play a game or at least pop up on stream and say hi or something. I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. I don't think there's like a video game that my dad would play. Like, I, my dad isn't really hand-eye coordination video game-esque type of person in the first place. So, he wouldn't be good at any video game I hand him. But like, I don't think he would take interest in anything. Like, I don't think he could play Toontown and be like, I'm gonna understand this. Cause I mean, like he probably could understand it, but it's, it's, look at it. It's, it looks like it's for five year olds. It's like, I could get him to play like Putt-Putt Travels Through Time. But again, it looks like it's for five year olds. To be fair, Putt-Putt Travels Through Time is for five year olds though. But it's not like I'm gonna hand him Call of Duty and be like, here you go. And he's gonna be like, yeah, let's, kill them Nazis I don't know so I don't know what game I could play that I could let my dad play that he would actually understand or be able to physically play he's never been a video gamer so give me some ideas what do you think make it something either I already own or is free thanks anyway I got some other some topics I wrote down because this is what I used to do 
back before I didn't make a video for several months at a time. Because if you don't make a video for several months at a time, you know you have something to talk about. There, there's no way you don't. But considering I made the last video two weeks ago, and we're stuck in quarantine, you know what's happened in the past two weeks? I've sat in this chair. That's it. I wake up in the morning, I go to the toilet, I go over to this chair, I do my work here, and when I'm done working, I swivel 90 degrees, and I stream for four hours. I spend about 14 hours a day in this chair. It's actually awful. I mean, it's a nice chair and it's comfortable, don't get me wrong, but I, I need something to do with my life. So with that being said, I have some, uh, I have some topics written down that I can talk about. My handwriting sucks. First one I got is Valorant, and so I want to talk about that video game because I'm sure you've probably heard of it. It is one of the most watched games on Twitch now, and I've uploaded a couple YouTube videos about it. The last Valorant video I uploaded, they're all just highlight videos by the way, is about this guy recognizing me in the game. Like, I was playing with three friends, so there was four of us, and then we got one random, and it was this guy that was like, Mega Snoop, I think I'm sub to you on YouTube for Toontown, and I'm like, ah. But it's so funny because at the end of that video, there was a clip of me getting an ace, but I forgot to like record my audio, so you don't hear my voice at all. And I still had music playing in the background, so YouTube's all like, oh, we gotta copyright this, and they copyrighted that video. So I went back and re-edited it to try to cut out like any parts where I wasn't doing anything, and that way it wouldn't be copyrighted for that song, and it took like two or three edits to finally get it. And then once I finally got that portion to no longer be copyrighted, I uploaded it to YouTube, it looked good, I hit live, and then suddenly... The video was like, oh, this other part's copyrighted somewhere six minutes into the video. And I'm like, what do you mean? And there's absolutely no way I'm going to re-edit it. There's, I'm not going to take it down and re-upload it. It's not worth my time. I was going to make like 15 cents on that video anyway. Maybe not even 15 cents. I don't know. I don't know how much I make per video. All I know is that every month YouTube is all like, here's more money. And I'm like, this is it. <laughs> but I ain't complaining. Free money is free money. I do this for fun. But Valorant, yeah, I've been playing a lot of Valorant. Like, I hella ranked up, by the way. Like, it threw me in, like, bronze two, and I was like, oh no, I suck at this game. And then me and my friends just kept playing and playing and playing, and it just went up and up and up, and I'm silver one, two. No, silver two. I'm silver two now. I feel like I could at least get to gold. I feel like gold is where I belong for my skill level until I can get my aim better. I'd like to get to platinum someday. That would be nice. I don't see myself ever getting higher than platinum. I'm not that good at the video game. My aim is atrocious. I play at 3,000 DPI. I don't know why I play at 3,000 DPI, but if I play anything slower, I'm like, I can't turn. So I play at 3,000 DPI. And I feel like if I could actually, like, my aim is okay for the most part. I'm just not used to the aiming mechanics of Valorant. Like in Fortnite, my aim is like, like that usually. Not anymore, because I don't play. I don't really play Fortnite anymore. But like my aim can be there. Like I'm pretty fast at like clicking the stuff I need to click. You know what I mean? Oh wait, I got my cellbot suit. Yo, Tootie got his cellbot suit. Time to VP, dude. Tootie gotta get destroyed, bro. Actually, he needs 20 merits. Let's forget about the VP until he gets 20 merits. Let's turn this in first. Nice, I got a suit. We did it. What else do I need? 70 level nines? What do I need? Yeah, but the aim of Valorant is like much, much different than the aim of like Fortnite or something because there's like the odd recoil. Kind of similar to CSGO, how it has that odd recoil that is just kind of impossible to predict sometimes. Yeah, some people got really good at it and I, I just did not, so <laughs> that's fine. So for this portion, now that I finally have my Cellbot suit, I'm gonna not do factories. I'm gonna go out of my way to fight name droppers until I get the 20 merits and then I'm gonna see if I can sneak into the busy district if it's, it's it's getting closer to not being super full so plausible but that's the plan stan maybe one of your names is stan i don't know maybe it would be like whoa he's talking to me probably not though yo can i help you bunny i know you no you don't yo drop it yo that's so cool but yeah one day i'll get good at valorant that's a lie i'm never gonna get good at valorant but i can try and at least have fun because it's a fun game to play with my buds i couldn't play it by myself Kind of like how I've been with Fortnite lately. It's like, I can't play it by myself, but it's been fun with the buds. A lot of name droppers around here. Like, I really feel like I'm just gonna, this is this is perfect. This is exactly what I'm looking for. Perfecto. Perfecto. I don't know. I can roll my R's. I don't know why I can roll my R's. My sister, like I had a foster sister growing up and she was Hispanic. And so she could roll her R's and spoke Spanish. They, they didn't teach me how to speak Spanish because I still don't know Spanish. I know pollo. That's it. That is how you say chicken. They really taught me how to like roll my R's. So, so that's pretty cool. That's a talent that I can put on my resume. 
Look out, ladies, I can roll my R's. When you want me to roll my R in your mouth. Like, that sounds weird, I'm sorry. Can we talk about that, by the way? Like, is it is it just weird to be, like, simping on people? Is that is that super weird? I feel like simping had got, like, a total... There's a complete misinterpretation when it comes to, like, simping, you know? Listen, I am pleasant and respectful around females. And as much as I joke about it, I wouldn't actually say that I'm simping on anyone right now. I might donate money to a streamer that I support, but do I think it's gonna get me a date? Heck no, and that's fine. But there are straight up people that I'm like, I've I've seen this, all right? I've seen an actual simp, and it's like, you think you only hear about them in stories. But like, I was watching this rando stream the other day. They didn't have too many viewers, probably like 10 to 20, but they had this one guy in their stream that just kept donating subs over and over and over again. And I'm like, bro, what's this what's this guy doing? What's what's going on? And like after he was done with like his here's here's five more, here's five more, here's five more. Like you see at the bottom he had gifted like well over like 250 subs to the channel. And I'm like, bro, they have like 10 viewers. What are you doing? You have spent over a thousand dollars gifting subs to this person. Maybe you should just I don't know, take it to the DMs at this point, bro. Like if your intention is to make them cry, you've you've done it. Good job. Uh, but maybe some people really 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 just want to support their favorite streamer But I feel like it's really 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 obvious at some point, you know This is why I don't watch random streams, dude. I guess stick to my follow list. I almost have enough to VP almost But like my question is is it so bad to simp like I feel like the only person you're really hurting is yourself so you have to kind of like be emotionally okay with the fact that like I am going to spend a lot of time attention and even money on this person and have to be emotionally accepting of the fact that they will probably never see me in a romantic way and instead just be gracious that I am such a found supporter of who this person is whether it's a streamer or maybe just a friend like I've seen like real life simps too like some guy that's just all like oh my queen let me go buy you a smoothie and she's all like thanks Chad I haven't seen one of those in a while because I haven't been to high school in 10 years Gosh, I'm old. Usually you see it online because it's a lot, lot easier to just send people money online. But what I say I'm simping? No, it's it's a joke. I tweet about it a lot and I, you hear me say it on streams and stuff. Nah, nah. Especially because like the actual definition of a simp is somebody who is literally going out of their way to do too much. Wait, why are there three in this battle? What's going on? Oh no. Because if you don't know, the term simp comes from the origin simpleton naming someone a simpleton for thinking that they are going to uh please the girl through money and sincere compliments in turn the girl usually does not know what to do so she acts flattered but really it becomes uncomfortable for her after a matter of time that is your vocab word for the day please use it in a sentence and uh, touch it in by the end of the day, thank you. But at the end of the day, man, let Simp Simp. The only person they're really hurting is themselves. I kind of feel bad for some of the girls because eventually there's probably gonna have to be a time where she has to be like, listen, is this isn't gonna happen. Some of these guys, cause I wouldn't say most of them. A lot of the time these guys, the reason why they're doing what they're doing is because they don't have that self-confidence to go out of their way and be like, hey girl, I wanna hang out in Discord sometime. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> But some of them eventually get the get the confidence to be like, hey girl, want to hang out in Discord sometime? And that's when the girl usually has to have that hard conversation being like, listen, Eugene. I don't got to come up with a random name. I'm, I, I appreciate the thousands of dollars you've donated to me, but I just don't see you that way. I always appreciate you being a good supporter of the stream and, you know, you're such a good friend to me. But just, it's it's not gonna happen that way. And then Eugene cries, and then he wonders where his thousands of dollars went. But maybe Eugene can afford it, okay? Maybe Eugene got a stimulus check, and he's all like, I'm gonna blow it all on Susan at twitch.tv forward slash Susan. I don't know, I just wanted to tell that little story just because of the fact that I was in a stream the other day, and I genuinely saw this, and I wanted to share it. And, uh, I was like, this is real. This is a real thing people are doing. Not just to big streamers, but to like small streamers as well. This happens all over Twitch. Don't be a simp, but if you're gonna be a simp, you know, just let simp simp. Let them be a simp. Let people enjoy themselves. I'm only telling you not to be a simp because I don't want you to hurt yourself, all right? And by you, I mean me. I'm telling myself that. I'm gonna get hurt one of these days. But Tony has enough to VP, so can we get to the busy district?
Oh, it's so close. Give me like five minutes. We'll see if I can sneak in. Three weeks later. You know, dudes, I did it. I snuck in. Let's get some gags and hit the road. All right, all right. And some laugh. I don't want Toonie looking like a loser. Maybe somebody will accept him. Maybe if I'm all like, look, I'm Toonie the Tiger from YouTube. M maybe they will. Probably not, though. Anyone else remember when you could go like right here and there was a flower that would spawn right there? That's some TTO nostalgia right there, by the way. If you knew that, man, you, you know you are in the knowledge. All right, Toonie, let's go to your VP. Lyrics coming at you at supersonic speed. <laughs> All right, Toonie, you can do it. Let's go. Into the VP. Here we go. Go simp on the VP, Toonie. Wait, dude, let me go in. Bro, why can't I go in? Bro, please invite. Please. I'm desperate. Please invite. In. Please invite for my first VP for YouTube. Smile. <laughs> I guess we'll just wait for more people to come in and hope for the best, dude. Toonie just wants to simp the VP. Why is that so hard? Nobody will take Toonie to go simp the VP because he's level one. Bro, who let the level one, like, decide the group here, dude? Like, we good to go? We good to go? Toonie gonna do his first VP? We're going. All right, Toonie, shoot your shot. Single and ready to mingle. Ooh, boys, we're in. Yo, wait, is that a is that a barnacle Bessie? Is that gonna be Toonie's first ever VP token person? Yo, it's a barnacle Bessie. Toonie's destined for great things. I knew it! Alright, Toonie, you got this. I believe, bud. I believe. Let's just not miss our throws. Here we go, team. Yeah. But this is like an excellent time to not judge people by their suits because everybody here is like no more than i think like a two-face right but like we got a 109 laugh everybody's at least got max throw and we're fine plus we got low cock so we're good this is fine but you know i talked about simping i'm gonna move on to the next thing taco bell so i probably had some really bad unhealthy eating habits lately because although it's quarantine you could still walk into taco bell and eat food like you could still order food there but the issue came lately like a week ago when they decided to just lock the doors to taco bell and i'm like uh excuse me sir and so out of nowhere for seemingly no reason you can no longer get a take like a takeout order by walking in and i don't have a car so i can't go go get taco bell but my dad was all like hey just go through the drive through and i'm like dad what the f oh that boy almost dead look at that oh my goodness oh boy i'm like dad i'm not gonna walk through the drive through i saw some guy in like a motorized scooter like scooting through the drive through and i'm even like that's i don't i would draw the line before that i'm not going through there i would rather just walk in it's fine like i get it it's got four wheels and a motor but that one's gonna be a no for me chief all right hey first round done but just recently, they decided to reopen a lot of Vegas. So like in Las Vegas, there was something that was passed where like restaurants and bars could reopen. Maybe not like movie theaters and stuff, but like restaurants and bars at least. And so there's a good chance that like Taco Bell might be reopened again. And I'm gonna have to go take a look later today to go know for sure. Cause I really, 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 really want Taco Bell again. I've missed my Baja Blast because they're still not in stores here. I don't know why they're still not in stores here. How are they still not in stores here? I'm getting pictures from people all over America being all like, look, it's here in Wisconsin and Delaware and stuff. See, if you stand just like this, it makes Toonie look as big as the VP. And now there's no longer a discrepancy there and they can be together. Please, please, please take me VP. I'm so lonely. We're all going to die. Oh, 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 no, oh, no, oh, no. Oh, yeah. We just gotta survive, please. And if the lure misses, we're all dead. I just don't want to imagine the tune-up missing and then the lure missing and then me breaking my computer. The lure hit, we're good. All right, what was I talking about? Taco Bell, God, I miss Taco Bell. I want to go back to Taco Bell. I'm gonna try it later today, probably after I'm done recording. Cause I don't stream today. Today's Sunday, I don't stream on Sundays, which is grand. Wait, we're already to the end? Bro, this is lit. We're getting it, dude. There's one last thing I wanted to talk about today before I cross everything off my list here, is uh, streaming because I wasn't streaming for a while and then I finally felt good enough and confident enough to stream again. And then I did that stream where I waited for TTR's event that never happened. And we had like 400 people show up. And I was like, excuse me? It makes me really like excited and curious to see what the upcoming event is going to be. But we have no idea. But it's like, man, if that's the kind of 
that's the kind of support we can get on an event that nobody knows anything about and eventually like if we do get an event or let's say field offices come out how much of a boom that can be for like the content creator community that's amazing and yes please provide us more of that because that's that yes but even so like that kind of carried off because just having one event like that helps your streamers because one event like that a bunch of people come and they start following maybe not all of them come back but a few of them come back and so just because of that i start seeing more viewers in my valorant streams in my call of duty streams and then i'm like hey maybe i'll go play corporate clash and a bunch of people show up for that and then it's just really cool to see how like one big event like that that didn't even happen can have such an effect on like one person's stream in general it kind of kickstarts this little economic boom for the community, and we need more of that. Gosh, I've been preaching that for years. Like, the first time I really noticed that was back, back, back 2015 with BossBot HQ. It was like the first time I had genuinely had over 100 viewers in my stream. Everybody wanted to see the new BossBot HQ. Everybody wanted to see everybody's first CEO. It was something, you know? And it's like, man, I, I hunger and thirst for more events like that, dude. I really do. We need more of that. We need a lot more of that. So hopefully with this new direction that TTR has been taking, for the ninth time in five years. Hopefully we see a little bit more of that and it'll give us a reason to stream it more. Otherwise, I talked about this in another video that probably went live already, I'm not sure. Where I do really want to get back into Corporate Clash, I just need buds to play it. You know what I mean? I need somebody to run through back nines with me. I need somebody to do VPs with me. I need somebody to help me max all the stuff and do all the things, you know what I mean? So I'll keep you updated on that, I still have no actual word if, if that's something that we're gonna be doing or not. But, but I'd like to, because even ever since the beginning, like, I like playing other games as well, I like being quote-unquote a variety streamer, but I still like mixing the Toontown in, just because I know how much the game means to me, and even more so how much it means to the audience. Like, there are a lot of people that they're just like, thank you so much for streaming this game because, you know, I'm 24 years old and it feels weird to play Toontown, but when I see somebody else my own age playing it and streaming it, it makes me feel like I don't have to feel bad about it. It makes me feel like I can play it too, and it makes me feel like if my friends make fun of me, I'd be like, look, look at this guy who's getting 100 viewers playing it. That's pretty cool. That's a cool feeling, you know, that I can I can be that symbol for some people. So I'm not going to ask you what your age is because you're not supposed to divulge that information on the internet. Divulge? I, I know words, I just can't say words. Divulge that in information? Don't say your age on the internet. But like, if you want to tell me your story about like how you're old and you're still playing Toontown, I'd love to hear it because I love hearing stories like that. And not necessarily that I need to be inspiration, but that you're still confident to play the games that you love and enjoy, no matter how old you are. Because, look at me, I, I do like playing Call of Duty, and I like playing Valorant, right? But I also like playing Toontown, and playing Putt-Putt Travels Through Time, and playing LEGO Star Wars. Like, I love all sorts of games, I don't care if they're fun, I'm playing them. I think that's a beautiful thing, so. Toonie about to finish up his first VP, maybe! If we can learn to stun. We got seven people in the front, and I'm still carrying the back stun, bro. Like, we had one other guy back here, and he straight up just saw me get three stuns, and he's all like, nah, I'm gonna leave this one to the to the toony guy. Bro, back stunning isn't hard. You just position yourself correctly, and then when the door opens, you make sure the bar is all the way down. VPs aren't hard. How is this difficult for anyone? How is this game difficult for anyone? Maybe if you're like five. All right, let's finish this out, team. Yeah, we won. Toony, MVP, MVP, MVP. No, my VP, I love you. Toonie's a simp. Thanks, team. Toonie did it. He beat his first VP. But even though, like, honestly, it's Toonie's first VP, but that was probably VP number 3,872 to me, so. Another day in the office. Thanks. It's my first... First VP. Toonie, you're such a liar. I think Toonie should try simping on the deer girl. Binky, you cute swinky. Probably like 12, and I'm about to get called on by the FBI. FBI, open up! <laughs> Bro, Toonie just got friend zone. Poor Toonie. F in chat, pay respects for Toonie. But thank you guys for watching. This has been another Toonie the Tiger episode. Did he finish any? He did, like, just turn in the task. Let's go. Can't be done yet.
No, Binky, my love, no! Oh, that's fine, I didn't really care for her anyway. It's probably like 10. What do we got? Turn it in. What can we get now? Oh wait, that's it! Toonie's almost done with all his tasks. Look at that, they're all just for fun. We're in the final stretch. Bro, before we get to DDL part three, four, I don't remember. Wait, Toonie, how far are you into this game? It's been years at this point. But yeah, these are the last ones before he gets his cash bot suit and before he you know finishes out this section of the game. So I guess we'll just be doing a few more VPs and factories and such. So that's that's the plan for the next few episodes. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. You guys have been the greatest. Leave a like if you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Stay awesome. God bless. Peace. Say bye, Toonie. Aw, Toonie, I know your heart's broken.